We begin tonight with the latest out of Dighton, where a meeting was held to decide the fate of five dogs that mauled a Rehoboth teen to death. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. 14-year-old Ryan Hazel was attacked while he was taking care of the dogs earlier this month. Tonight, after a moment of silence, the Board of Selectmen voted what to do next. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live in Rehoboth tonight with more on the vote. Caroline? Well, all the dogs found at the Dighton property where Ryan Hazel was attacked and killed are being held here at Rehoboth Animal Control. But after tonight's vote, five of those dogs are set to be euthanized in the next 48 hours. It's all happening just about five days after the Rehoboth team was laid to rest. Memory, I would request a moment of silence, please. A moment of silence for Ryan Hazel starts the Dighton Board of Selectmen hearing Wednesday night. Moments later, the board unanimously voted to euthanize the five dogs police say are responsible for killing the 14-year-old boy two weeks ago. It, it was a tough decision. However, it was the right decision. Chairman of the Dighton Board of Selectmen, Kenneth Pacheco, says he won't be losing sleep over this decision. He says the Bristol County DA's office, Dighton Police, and the animal control officer on the case were all in support of it. It asked that we euthanize the dogs, that uh, they felt that uh, it was important that they be euthanized. The horrific attack happened the night of May 9th. The Bristol County DA's office says Hazel, a freshman at Bristol Plymouth Regional Technical School, was checking on the dogs at a property off Maple Swamp Road in Dighton. He had done so several times before. This time, he was attacked. The town has been mourning the, the death of uh, Ryan Hazel, and uh, you can see it. In, I've talked to many towns uh, people. You can see it in their faces. Uh, they're concerned. They've supported the family, which is uh, something that, that has impressed me. Pacheco says the owner of the dog, Scott Dunmore, gave them to the town after the attack, which gave the board the right to make this decision. There were 11 dogs on Dunmore's property at the time of the attack, but the investigation revealed five were involved, four Malinois and one Dutch Shepherd. Investigators say none of them were licensed with the town. As for whether Dunmore could be facing charges... It's a possibility, but I really don't foresee that happening. Happening. You know, this is a tragic situation that won't that won't undo anything that's already happened. So, and there were six other dogs and nine puppies that were found on that property the night of the attack. Pacheco saying tonight that Dunmore is entitled to have those dogs back if they're vaccinated and licensed. We have reached out to Dunmore several times for comment over the last couple of weeks, but we have yet to hear back. Reporting live in Rehoboth tonight, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.